What up, YouTube? What up, boxing fans? Gandhi Golovkin off of his, you know, very impressive performance against Gabriel Rosado. He definitely showed what he always shows power on both hands, a solid jab, and, you know, just a, a solid work rate, you know, a ton of pressure. And he busted up his opponent and knocked him out. Now, regarding. Andre Ward, you know, this is the best, arguably, pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world. Uh, he's a Super 6 champion winner, and he has literally ran out of opponents. Kelly the Ghost Pavlik retired. He was the guy that was next in line for Andre Ward. <laughs> and, you know, that's a really short line. Gennady Golovkin's one of these guys that's entering the picture as HBO really likes his versi versatility through weight classes, he's campaigning between 154 and 168, yet he's never fought a super middleweight. And I think that's a big problem. Uh, you know, Gandhi Golovkin needs to fight a super middleweight if he wants to take a shot on Andre Ward. I don't think he can beat up on middleweights and then go up to face Andre Ward and have that actually be a competitive fight because... While I do think it's a great fight, stylistically, personally, Golovkin, he doesn't have a chance against Andre Ward. I'm sorry. Andre Ward would, you know, completely... I think he would just outclass Golovkin. Just like he did Karl Froch, he would outclass Golovkin. His head's right there to be hit. He's a tremendous counterpuncher. He's got a wicked lead left hook. You know, Golovkin is slow, man. He's not a very fast-handed guy. He's a punishing, wear-you-down type fighter. He's got great punching power in both hands, but we don't know how that translates to the super middleweight division. You know, HBO had Andre Ward uh, commentating for a reason. They want to set him up against either Sergio Martinez or an Andre Ward. But, personally, while his amateur record is extensive, I don't think he's ready for Andre Ward just yet. I think he's got to take down a real big-name champion or a big-name fighter. And I'm talking about the likes of Sergio Martinez. I'm talking about maybe a, a Carl Froch, Andre Durrell. He's got to take down one of these guys before we can even talk about Golovkin versus Andre Ward because... I think Andre Ward just beats the hell out of Golovkin. <laughs> I'm sorry. He does. He, he, you cannot beat Andre Ward at super middleweight if you're coming up in weight as a middleweight. I just don't see it, man. I think it'd be a great fight. I think Golovkin would put a hell of a lot of pressure on Andre Ward. But I, I think Andre Ward, just boxing ability, skill-wise, uh, you know, he could fight inside. He can fight outside. Uh, he's a master. He's a boxing master, and there's not a lot of guys that can really give him that stirring test. I think Golovkin can give him a test, but I just don't think he can beat a guy like Andre Ward. And, you know, off a tremendous victory, I think he should stick to the middleweight division. This is where we have sort of an aging champion in Sergio Martinez. And, you know, if Golovkin keeps knocking out guys in the middleweight division... Martinez is going to have, you know, he can't, he's not a guy that ducks people either. And, you know, he, Golovkin will eventually be next in line. I don't think Andre Ward's the right move for Golovkin yet. I think he's got to take down a title in the middleweight division before we're even talking about it. But for him just to say, you know, I don't mind fighting Andre Ward super middleweight, it shows a lot of balls. It shows a lot of character. You know, this is something boxing, uh, elites are really missing is you know wanting to move up and wait and show they're the best in the world and that's always good to see but I don't think it's the right move I think Andre Ward uh, can beat Golovkin handedly in a competitive fight anyways it is what it is guys peace out take care